Hello and welcome. I'm at Caravan Salon and uh, this company is called Vanning. It has made this highly unusual vehicle. It's on a VW, it's a 4x4 vehicle and uh, it's really thinking outside the box. So let's go and have a look at it. Obviously when I see that, I do appreciate that it's not for everybody, but not all vans are for everybody. You know, I'm gonna start off right down here because here, there's the outdoor grill. <laughs> Comes out like that. Now, companies like this build to order, so they're not building many vehicles. So uh, if somebody wants something a bit different, but along these lines, obviously they would do it. This vehicle has a lounge. It's a lounge on wheels. And uh, so where is the bed? It's here. You can see the slide here. There's a guide rail there. And this slides out like that. Oh, you didn't see the you didn't see the clever bit here. Put that to one side. And there you go. Slides out like that. And then we fill it in using that, using that, and using that. So this they say is a sleeps two and a half people, two adults and a child. And uh, why not? Okay, let's put this back in again. Oops, it's just come off. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not. Maybe not. Oh, it is supposed to do that. I thought I'd broken it. I thought I'd better run away before uh, <laughs> they found me. And this goes back in, but not that way. Goes back in like that. They tell me it can take a large amount of weight. Now, uh, the space here for a, the toilet would go uh, in there, in this part here, and come up and storage here obviously and also storage that's the toilet but storage under here as well uh, here we've got the lights and the light switches which do look a bit like from germany in the 1960s they are all dimmable and so uh, you don't have to have it this bright i'm going to leave it this bright for the purpose of filming uh, right kitchen this corner kitchen is rather large it's gas free so we've got these um, induction here now the battery will depend on what is ordered on the roof there are four times 200 uh, watt uh, solar panels that uh, giving 800 I would expect a battery setup of around 250 ampere hours uh, lithium uh, something like that again I mean this all depends on what is specified by the buyer uh, here we've got a sink as you can see, tell and one of the water containers is down here there it is so these containers will of course come out or you can actually fill up uh, without having to take them out the, there's a domestic fridge here and that's nothing uh, unusual about that <laughs> and a uh, lot of workspace here and while you're working you can also charge your phone uh, from there now um here note this is that there's this space here which uh, is is free um is it a good idea to have the cabin open like this or should this part be closed? I can see the benefit of having it closed for the point of view of uh, heat in uh, uh, keeping heat in in the winter. Um, anyway, uh, oh, I can see the benefit of having it open as well so you don't have to get out when it's raining, although you would have to sort of jump over the chairs there. Uh, down here, we have got the table. There's the table. I won't put it in now because I'll need two hands to do it. But the table will fit down here. Uh, they've used this solution here. This is a sort of thing I'm often talking about. Um, I think it might be better if they use just normal uh, faces. Uh, I think that's what you call them. Uh, for the, uh, to cover that space up. 
and uh, the company does do um, some of the exclusive camper contracts for the Hamburg based um, luxury brand of automobiles but I've forgotten the name of it now B whatever it is anyway I'll put it on the description or in the some in the comments if I remember uh, this is something we're seeing more and more of I mean I've been going on I've been going on about these things since I found out about them in 2016 um, uh, this saves so much space and look at that, it lies flat but you it's really these things are really strong and you can get all sorts of stuff there behind them so I think that I think that's a that's a really good point uh, now uh, one of the things is obviously with the height when you're inside now I'm going to turn the camera on to me I am 1 meter 75 5 foot 10 and there you go it's not much space above me so this is a problem for two reasons uh, first of all it's a, it's a camper van and the second thing is it's a 4x4 both of these things are problematic when it comes to uh, height so um if you don't if you want if you're much, very tall and don't want to have your uh, head bent over all the time then it clearly isn't the vehicle for you uh right over here they put magnets into here the objective of which is so you can actually put something against the uh, one of these thermal blinds up against the window of course if you want to do, want to opt to have a sort of standard motor camper van uh, blinds then you could do that as well uh, let's uh, have a look around the outside there you go that so I think this is probably a Volkswagen part never first time I'd seen it <laughs> probably an old Volkswagen I've never noticed before uh, in here we've got the water here this is for an outdoor shower uh, and you can actually you can take four of them oh no sorry you can take uh, you can only take two of them sorry <laughs> and uh, and here we've got a very clever thing this is one of the <laughs> sorry These things it can take a huge amount of weight, and uh, there's our packaging. I'm just gonna make a point here. You know, I actually knew he was a friend of mine, the person who owned the company. I haven't seen him for six. Well, I might have seen 20, 2011. I think was the last time I saw him. Uh, but um, I used to run a packaging um, magazine, and so I knew him from there. Anyway. Uh, and so you can fill these up. These, this thing here, I believe, can take up to about 300 kilos in weight. Right. And, oops. Clever, eh? Right, so uh, there's a look around the outside. And, uh, okay, for something like this, you're looking at around 150 thousand euros it t depends of course on the specification heating is via diesel and um, yeah I think that's about it really so there you go we build you camp vanning GmbH there you are so you can find their website and uh, that's what the vehicle looks like thanks very much for watching and all the best from me in Dusseldorf if you want to see more videos like this I upload every day at 21.15. Thanks for watching.